Yeah, certainly a, a benefit to, to that team, the Eagles, if it were to happen and if those T's are crossed, and those I's are dotted. You know, uh, Malik, we were just talking about a little bit ago, but the big news over the weekend was Antonio Brown and yeah. kind of what he did. Yeah, that's The power play, as, as Chris likes to call it. And, right. And basically becoming a hero to a lot, of, a lot of players out there from what he was able to do. It seems like teams mostly have the leverage all the time here. Antonio Brown was able to take the leverage. You've had a really interesting road, you know, former fifth round pick. You were not a top pick, former fifth round pick, and then you're a Super Bowl champion. Then you get the big deal, but now, as you just described, in the middle of that big deal, things go sour with the team and you're released. Uh, what are your thoughts on kind of what you just saw with, with Antonio Brown? And now, having been through a couple situations in the NFL, the leverage of the player versus the leverage of the team as it currently stands in the NFL? No, I mean, I'm very happy for him. You know, he's an explosive player. Um, I, I honestly think he's been getting underpaid uh, these last two years. So for him, hopefully he gets his uh, contract restructure and gets what he deserves. But I think it's, it's, it's one of those things that, like you said, the owners and the teams have a lot of power over us. You know what I'm saying? We have a very um, – and, 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 and it sucks. So for him to be – well, really, for him and Le'Veon Bell to be like, you know what, I'm done with this. I'm done with you guys. I'm going to do what I need to do to protect myself. <laughs> I hope, you know, he's opened a lot of doors and right. opened a lot of mindsets for a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, to be able to change the way that we go about our business and the way we feel about ourselves. You know, it's not like a, a – uh, it's not like a thing that we're, um, you know, oh, I got to I gotta make sure I act good or don't say this or don't say that. Like, right. Nah, if you're, if, you're, if you're providing for this team and you're a valuable part of this team, you should be able to do and say what you feel like and not have to feel like you're one of the 52 boys on the team. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I think that what he did is uh, – is uh, admirable, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy for him that he got out, you know, and they didn't send him somewhere where, you know, they didn't really have a, a good thing going for him. So I'm glad he gets to keep his career going and, and do what he wants. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was saying this before we had you on, and I, I just want to know your – this will be the last question, and we'll let you go on so you can work out and earn all your new money and get ready. But um, I, I was saying to, to Ahmed here earlier, just like – you become a, a, a locker room legend when you pull things off like Antonio Brown. You know, he kind of debunked yeah. the system, right, with how he went about it on social media and all that. Uh, do you yeah. feel the same way, or am I am I off on that? No, I think it is. It's funny because I was talking to my football friends, and I was like, dang, he must think this is like basketball, the way he's acting. You know <laughs> right, what I'm saying? Like, right. like football guys, we don't really act like that, you know, going on shows and talking about our situation. You know what I'm saying? So I think, like I said earlier, he's opened eyes and doors, so we feel like we don't have to hush ourselves or, or act like, you know, if we say something bad about the team wrong, 31 others are going to uh, shun us. You know what I'm saying? It's, nah, I'm going to say what I have to say, and these are my truths, and it is what it is, you know, because the NFL and these owners damn sure don't, and uh, and uh, GM damn sure don't shy away from letting you go if you're not doing what you have to do. So yeah. I think it's fair, and, and I'm glad we have, you know, an equal playing for both. Starting to, I should say. Yeah, you know? right. Starting so, to. Right. Cool. Exactly right. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. All absolutely. right. Thanks for joining well, us, yeah, bro. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for being safe on the road as well, and congratulations on the uh, the new deal when it becomes official. <laughs> yeah, well, whenever that, whenever that happens, I hope it does. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Sims, man. Hey, congratulations on the new show and everything, brother. Thanks, uh, dude. Talk to you soon. You're the man, yeah. Malik. Good luck with everything, dude. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.